Hey, it's Alex with Lover Fighter Writer, and today I'm going to show you exactly how to write a long form SEO blog post really fast with phrase. So I'm in the phrase dashboard here, and I've just gone to SEO tools, and I'm going to use the outline builder. And uh, I demonstrated something similar to this in my last video, but in that one, I was really just exploring the new draft generator tool, which is phrases latest feature that allows you to customize and then custom generate a entire blog post really quickly. And in that video, I was really just exploring the feature and I hadn't used it a lot at that point. But over the past few days, I have written several articles using this method and uh, optimized them and edited them uh, to the point where they're ready for publication. And so today I'm going to start doing a better job of demonstrating that entire methodology. And uh, this will probably be a series of videos because uh, I think it, it might take a little bit longer than I want to do in a single video. So in this one, we're going to look at how to use the outline builder to and uh, the document research capabilities to build an outline. And then uh, and we'll also uh, go through how to customize the commands before you generate the draft and we'll generate the draft. And then I might do a little bit of editing on it, but I'll probably save the bulk of the editing for a separate video unless it goes really, really fast. Now, Phrase is not extremely well equipped for keyword research. However, you can do a little bit of keyword research in the outline builder here. And I already know the keyword that I want to use, so I'm just going to put it in. It's Pinterest marketing. Um, I have had a lot of success lately, uh, especially over the past couple of days with Pinterest. And uh, so I'm, I want to write an article about that. And it has a decent amount of volume. So I'm just gonna put that in here and hit enter. And uh, it's gonna pull up some keywords related to that as well as that one. You can see Pinterest affiliate marketing is actually a, a higher volume, um, but I do already have an article on that keyword, which I need to update, uh, but I wanna write a separate one today. So we've got Pinterest marketing with about 4.4 thousand searches a month. And so over here I have questions related to the topic. And so if I see any questions that I think I want to answer throughout the course of my article, I'm gonna check them and it's gonna be added to my outline right here. So we've got, what is Pinterest marketing? Is Pinterest still good for marketing? How to use Pinterest? Benefits? Maybe use that as a frequently asked question. Who is the target audience of Pinterest? All good questions. Um, okay, that's enough, I think. So these are all good questions. Some of them I will answer throughout the course of the article and others I might just include as frequently asked questions at the end. And once I'm satisfied with these, then I can just hit create document and uh, I'm gonna leave it on United States and uh, put it in the right folder and hit create document. So now it's got the questions that I selected entered here in the content brief tab. And then in the my content tab, it's just uh, nice and blank. And so I'm gonna hit let's go over here and it's going to research the top 20 ranking articles for the keyword Pinterest marketing. And uh, it's gonna pull a lot of data about those which I'll have access to right here. And then I'll use the outline builder again uh, by looking at their headings to help me build uh, an ideal content structure that can potentially outrank some of them. And so this is actually the bulk of the work right here because Basically with the new draft generator, all you have to do is do a little bit of research and create a really good outline and then create some instructions for how to write that outline. And then you give it to the AI and it just does the rest uh, really quickly. Um, I think last time I made a video on this and uh, for most of the articles that I've written with it since then, uh, it was generating articles around 2000 to 2500 words long and uh, doing it in about uh, two or three minutes. So the bulk of the time and the effort is really spent doing the, the research and the outlining and all that. Um, and then once you have that done, which only takes, you know, 15 or 20 minutes for most articles, then you can just feed some instructions into the AI and uh, let it go on ahead. Um, so, so far we've got the top 20 results process. And right now it's saying about a 2.3 thousand word uh, article. Uh, so it might be a little bit longer than that, but I'm just gonna go to customize the results here. And uh, so, hold on. So it's not processing this one. So I'm gonna uncheck that. And I'm just going to uh, take another look at it and try and, I'm gonna try and get rid of any that aren't being processed. 
and also uh, probably just go to the top 10 instead of the top 20 because I don't necessarily want to uh, consider the articles that aren't in the top 10. Um, so I'm just gonna say top 10 and I'm gonna uncheck that one again. And all right, it's not telling me which weren't processed, but take a quick look here. I think those might all be good. So we'll just save that and see how it comes up. Yeah, so it's processed nine out of nine results now, and it's now saying 3.1 thousand, uh, which also sounds fine. And uh, now to get this going, I'm going to hit outline here. So here we have the questions that I put in in the first place. And then in order to take a look at all the competitor headings, we can click on explore headings. And so you can see I've got this here. Uh, we've got this scroll bar down at the bottom, which is really, really hard to see, but it is there. And so I can just scroll along and look at all the headings. And then I can use these as kind of a guide to build uh, my custom superior hierarchy of topics. So we see uh, in the H1s, things like the ultimate guide to Pinterest marketing, ultimate Pinterest marketing guide, five-step Pinterest marketing strategy. Um, okay, so I think I'm, I'm just gonna do a custom title and I'll say something like, I'm probably gonna change this eventually, but uh, we'll call it magic Pinterest marketing guide tips. Oops tips for 2023. I like that. Um, probably change it at some point, but we'll use that as the H1 for now. And uh, let's see, what have we got here? Um, okay, I definitely want what is Pinterest. And um, do we have anything else about what is Pinterest? No, but I'm, or what is Pinterest? And I'm going to have uh, and H3 is going to be what is Pinterest marketing. And I'll change this one to an H3 as well. And so now we've got uh, these. And oh, I'm, I'm going to move all these up here, of course. How do you use Pinterest for marketing? Oh, I already had what is Pinterest marketing. Silly me. All right, so I can just get rid of that one. And I think I'll include this here. Pinterest still good for marketing. I'm going to change this to how to create a Pinterest marketing strategy. Change this to H3 and probably move it down a little bit. How to find your target audience on Pinterest. basic. And I think I want a little bit more here. So we've got how to create a Pinterest marketing strategy, find your target audience. Um, and then we'll have create content to inform and entertain. We'll say use custom call to calls to action. That's an H3. And then we'll have um, optimize designs. And, uh, all right, so I think that that is a pretty good structure. Um, it probably needs more than that, to be honest. Yeah, I think I want to go with something like types of pins. And then I'll say Pinterest content brackets in case they don't know that. Uh, pins mean Pinterest content. And then I want probably most of these. I don't want lead magnets, but I definitely want to add, they have something called Pinterest TV now, which I'm not even really sure what that is. I just noticed that they had it while I was on there the other day. And video pins, because I'm having some uh, really good fortune with video pins right now. And, um, so I, now I need to move these up here. Okay, I think this actually needs to be an H2 right here. I'm gonna use Pinterest for marketing, and then I'm gonna need an H3, which is beginner guide to using let's say Pinterest publishing. So that's what you're doing. Put that up 
here. Okay, and uh, we got our types of pins. Oh, that's supposed to be H3. How much do Pinterest marketers make? And, okay, so uh, it probably should be a little bit longer than this actually, but uh, I'm just gonna stop there at 20 headings and uh, save the outline. And of course I can always do more later. And now I'm gonna switch to my My Content tab and go to instructions, which is where we add the instructions of how we want the AI to write each section. And this would take a while for me to do all myself, uh, just going through and writing 20 section instructions, although I keep them pretty short and it still works well. Um, but I'm just gonna hit the write all sections with AI button. And so it's gonna go down and add its own instructions under each heading. It tends to be extremely descriptive and verbose with its instructions. So I'm gonna just go through after it's done this and I'm gonna remove a lot of stuff and I'm gonna change anything that needs to be tweaked. And uh, I think that'll work really well and it should only take me a few minutes to do that. Looks like it is still working. So I probably need to wait, I would think, or maybe I don't. I guess I can work while that's going. That's awesome. All right, so we've got introduce it by highlighting the most important trends. I'm gonna change this from important trends and strategies to important trends and statistics. From 2022, see what it says for that. Uh, it's supposed to be able to pull data directly from the SERP, so uh, this, this may work a little bit better than it might have in the past. Uh, describe how to take advantage of, I think I wanna get rid of all the rest of this. Yeah, because that's just way too much. Um, and so the next thing we'll just say, keep it short and finish with a CTA to convince them to read the rest of the article. Now we've got what is Pinterest, Write one short paragraph that serves as an introduction to the following. I don't like that, so I'm going to say write one to two sentences succinctly explaining what Pinterest is. I'm going to remove that. Describe what Pinterest marketing is, and that about the goals is good. And I'm going to get rid of this. Oh, so you notice it's actually, it's saying keywords to include at the bottom. So I should probably keep that part instead of removing it. But for the other articles that I've written in the past couple of days, um, I always wrote my own instructions because they were a bit shorter and uh, it did a great job of including keywords anyway. So I'm not sure if that's even necessary. All right, so that's good for that one. Is print Pinterest still good for marketing? And I think I'm just gonna delete this part bottom part there, how to use Pinterest for marketing. Okay, this command is not very good at all. So I'm just gonna say write a short segue to the next heading. I had good luck doing this in uh, with previous iterations of this tool, so see how that goes. Beginner guide to Pinterest publishing, I'm gonna say, um, the basics of pinning and creating boards. All right, I like all that. How to create a Pinterest marketing strategy. I'm gonna do the segue thing again. Short segue to next heading. So first I wanna say, explain how to create a customer avatar. That's good. You can use Pinterest analytics. That all looks good. Oh, it didn't write an instruction here for some reason. All right, I think I'm just gonna move these two down to the next one. Let's say, take inspiration from other people's work and modern design styles. Yeah, the benefits of Pinterest marketing. Delete this last one, because the rest looks okay. have some stuff about calls to action. We'll leave all that. And now we have optimized designs and offers. 
If you're design for your pins, make sure that you're appealing needs to read. Describe how to optimize designs and offers for Pinterest marketing. I did that one. It's high quality images. This will make your pins. I don't need that. I don't need that one. And I'm going to change this to include. This will improve the chances. Okay, we don't need that. Fine. So it's not doing as good a job at writing the instructions for uh, H2s that have uh, multiple H3s under them, is what it seems like. Um, so I'm just going to use the uh, short segue to the next heading instruction again. Okay, we've got some stuff on product pins. Um, I'm just going to let the AI take care of that. It looks like it skipped a few. That looks pretty good. Describe the benefits of infographic pins. And then we have Pinterest TV. Get rid of this part. And introduce the importance of Pinterest TV as a powerful tool. Okay, that sounds pretty good. Um, video pins. How do Pinterest marketers, or how much do Pinterest, Pinterest marketers make? Brief segue to next heading. And all right, I think that's fine. So that's good. Uh, that took a few minutes for sure, but not very long just to touch some things up and get rid of some redundancy. And now all I need to do is hit generate draft and it's going to uh, write all these things for me. All right, so I'm going to cut that or possibly just speed up the footage, uh, but that took about three minutes to generate uh, 5,383 words. So that's pretty crazy. And um, Actually, the first time that I clicked uh, generate draft, it uh, didn't do anything. It kind of like was thinking for a while and then it just stopped. Um, but then I just clicked generate draft again and it worked fine, except that uh, the very last heading got cut off. So it, it only wrote this far. Um, and then I just uh, scrolled down and I clicked on execute the instruction under the heading that it didn't write. And it wrote the last one and brought it up to that word count. Um, so that worked very well. Um, there's obviously still a few little bugs. It doesn't work 100% perfectly every time, but uh, the two small errors that happened, I, all I had to do was just click a button again and it fixed itself. Um, so I think, uh, what was it? It was about 3.1 was the average. So I would probably aim for around 3.3 thousand words. And so the fact that it wrote 5.3 thousand words is actually good because even though I did specify in a lot of the instructions that it should be very succinct, it does tend to create fairly repetitive content at times, not in the sense that it's always the same thing. It'll include the same piece of information once or twice or three times. And so you need to kind of edit for that and for anything that just sounds like it's uh, harping on the same thing for too long. And of course, fact check and add any style that you want. Um, and if we go down here to optimize, we'll see that it got a 91% score. Now, of course, it's easy to get 91% when you write almost double the length that it's calling for because it's easy to get the keyword scores that way. But I think that I'll find that when I edit it down to around 3.3, 3.5 thousand, it'll probably be easy to keep it right up around this very high score. Um, and uh, we can see the average is down at 75, so it should be easy to keep it above that. And uh, that's, that's fine for most articles. Um, so anyways, that's going to do it for this video. Make sure that you subscribe if you want to see the next video and feel free to contact me through my website as well. Um, so that was just doing the outline and adding the instructions and generating the draft. And in the next video, I'm going to go through this uh, existing document. I'm not going to touch it until I make the next video, which should be out in the next few days. And we will work through this and edit it down to about 3.3 to 3.5 thousand words. We'll make sure to keep the content optimization score above 75, probably go for about 80 or so. And uh, we'll get that all ready to go. And then after I publish that video, I'll post it on my blog and we'll see if we can get it to rank. All right. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.